Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be playing around with a whole load of new e.l.f. makeup and that includes the new mint collection, the new mascara, the putty blush, the little the blush and highlight duos. So I've got loads and loads to play around with and it all is on my face right now. This is what I've created. You know, spoiler alert, it's gonna be great. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to go into is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and this is in the shade 240. It is the shade Light and I feel like this is going to be the best one for my skin tone. I don't think it's an exact match but they don't have many shades so I chose the one that was closest to my skin tone. And yeah, I've heard amazing things about this so let's put this all over the skin and let's see if it's good. I actually think the packaging of this is so cute. It's got like a holographic, you know, little pattern and yeah, I just think it's a really nice touch. Okay, so the first thing to note is I actually really like the packaging of this. I like how you can just pump it out and it's in this kind of tube packaging which makes it very easy to kind of get all the product and it's not too heavy or anything so you can travel with this. So I'm just going to take a couple of squirts and put that on my face and see what the coverage is like. This actually does say that it has collagen, peptide, niacinamide, so it's good for your skin as in it's going to stop blemishes. It says that it's got SPF 30, so that's great. It actually says it's full coverage, so I'm really excited to try this out. I feel like this would be a product that would be especially good for summer because it's got SPF, it's full coverage, but it feels like it's going to be lightweight. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Okay. It is a little bit lighter, but with like bronzing and everything, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I only took a little bit and it's covered like this whole area. Okay, so that is the whole face covered. I do look like Casper the Ghost right now. <laughs> I'd say it's about, it's a teensy teensy bit too light for me right now. It just makes me beige, like an absolute pancake. I've probably used about one pump and I've still got like one pump left. So let's see what one more layer will do. I have to note that this is not heavy on the skin at all. It actually feels like a moisturizer, which is actually really nice. Okay guys, so that is two layers built up on the skin and I'm telling you, that is full coverage. Like, that's not messing around, that's giving me full coverage. It's quite light, like it feels very, very lightweight on the skin. My skin still looks like skin and I don't know how this is working, but it is. Like it looks kind of dewy, which I, I love, I love a dewy finish. And it kind of feels like, I mean it is a CC cream, so it's a tinted moisturizer. But yeah, I am shook at this. This is actually amazing. I think in the camera, this actually looks lighter than it is in real life. I have to note that it's so full coverage. I feel like I don't even need concealer anymore. But we are going to conceal because I bought a new concealer. But that's how full coverage it is. It's giving me such a nice finish. I just, I'm blown away. So I, I really, I really love that so far. Right. The next thing that I have, I've got a whole bunch of new e.l.f. makeup. I've got so much and I'm really excited to use it because I love e.l.f. e.l.f. is like so cheap and amazing quality and I just, their products are actually exciting. Like they launch things and you're like, damn, I need this in my life. So I love their camo concealer, but I just never got the right shade because it was too light but it was insane, like insanely full coverage. I did find it a little drying, so I did, I think it's like the most fabulous eyeshadow base, but for concealer, if you're more on the dry side, I would just, I would skip it. I've got the Hydrating Camo Concealer here, so I'm very excited to try this out. It's in the shade Light Sand, which I hope is gonna be a good shade for me. I, like a dodo, also bought the shade medium sand and this is way too dark for me so i think i'm gonna might use it as like a little like soft contour situation so we're just gonna dot this on
okay i love like look at the difference between this eye and then this eye like it looks so natural it's full full coverage really lightweight it's not like it's not cakey at all i what <laughs> elf you have done it again Right, that blended out in what, 0.2 seconds. It is full coverage, looks super natural. I actually think that's a beautiful concealer. Okay, so to warm up this skin, because it definitely needs some color in it now, I'm gonna take the shade Tan Sand, dot a few drops on, and hopefully it will warm up the perimeters of my face. Just so we can get a little bit a little bit of warmth in the skin you actually can't see it too well because it is pretty close to my skin tone so i feel like this would be like a good foundation shade and then the concealer is obviously lightening i don't know maybe mixing this with the cc cream maybe i'd get the perfect foundation shade i feel like with foundations you can shade up and then you have to use a lot of like concealing but i feel like if it's a little bit lighter then you can just bronze up a little bit more and I just feel like bronzer make, makes you look less cakey than concealer and more powder, like light powder and stuff so I would rather go lighter than darker okay I don't, I don't know if that's done much for adding colour and whatever but I feel like I, I can see a little something next I'm gonna go in with a very exciting product it is the e.l.f. putty blush I think I got the shade Tahiti and this is the shade it's actually so gorgeous like this really nice coral pink color i'm gonna take a little dense brush and pop it in and we're gonna just step all that onto the face i love blush and i live for it i just love the youthful look that it gives you if it fills in my pores great so i'm just gonna put it on okay it's like a really nice shade it's very rosy it's like a not too strong i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because i just i think it's so cute oh my goodness i love that i love it i love it it's not disrupted any of the makeup and it just looks so glowy and natural and just so pretty so like when you're applying blush like you just have to smile because it gives you like the highest points and the most flattering points of your face for blush oh my goodness this is too pretty oh, look at this like it just looks so so natural oh, it's beautiful I love that it's so nice so now i've got a collection of new elf blush duos so i have all of these let me show you i have four out of eight of the blush and highlight duos I've got the shade White Peach, which is this really nice peachy kind of tone. I feel like it will suit light skin tones a lot. Next, I've got Pomegranate, which is like a deeper pink with like a deeper highlight. The highlight looks so gorgeous, but I think it might be a little bit too dark for me. Next, I have the shade Guava, which is like this nice peachy pink color. Again, the highlight looks like a really nice goldy sheen, but I don't know if it's going to be a bit too dark. And then last but not least, we've got Lychee, which is another kind of, I'd say, mauve pink. It's got really nice highlight with it, and I'm assuming this one's going to suit my skin tone a lot. For the sake of this video, we're going to swatch all these shades, because when I was shopping for this, I was like, which shade do I get? Like, which one would suit my skin tone the most? And the swatches on night are not the best, so... I'll swatch these now and you guys can see if you know any of them would actually be suitable for you right so we have lychee it's highlight we have guava it's highlight pomegranate it's highlight and then white peach and it's highlight so these are what the shades look like very very nice blushes very nice highlights i think the pomegranate one might be a little bit too dark but i think in summer i could probably get away with it because I tan very, very easily. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of lychee and guava. Okay, so I'm just popping it on the stippling brush and just putting it on top. I really, I love it. I want to see if I could, like, just put my entire face, dip it in blush. I probably would because I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever. 
So that is the blush that's on. It's so nice. For highlight, I am going in with the White Peach Highlight, which is this one right here. It's actually so beautiful. It's like a silver gold. Super stunning. Okay, watch this. Because I know Elf highlights are insane. So watch this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. That is so reflective and pretty. It literally can't even cope with how stunning that is. Are you seeing that? I dipped in like three times as well. Honey, honey, honey. Oh my goodness. This little jewel was three pounds. Three pounds. It was cheap. This is so good for three pounds. What? I'm just gonna add a little bit more because more is more. Especially with highlight. Oh my goodness. There you go. I am snatched. I am snatched with that highlight. So for the most exciting part of the video, I am going to be playing around with Elf's mint collection. And let me show you these little eyeshadow palette so this one is called mint to be and this one is called chocolate mint these have to be the cutest little palettes ever and if you know me then you know that i'm obsessed with mint and pink because they were supposed to be the theme of my wedding and yeah i just i love this color i just think it's beautiful we're gonna play around with these on the eyes um, I've played around with their little bite-sized palettes before. I think they're absolutely incredible in terms of quality and price and everything because these little things retail for three pounds. Yeah, you heard that right. Three pounds. Can you use these? These are literally the most easy thing to use. Perfect for beginners or perfect for people who want to play with colour but are scared of like patchiness and stuff because these are insane. So I know these are going to work. So let's just play around, make a look. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in with a clean mind and let's let's get creative. Okay, so the aim of the game is to use as many colours as we can. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna go into the Mint to Be palette and take this very light mint shade here and use it in the crease. Okay, so we're just gonna pop that in the crease. Oh, I'm actually surprised that it's showing up a little bit because it is very light. I think a natural super fair mint is going to be a hard color to show up on uh, deeper skin tones well, let's carry on see as i'm gonna build it as much as we can it's actually building really nice okay i think that's a fair level of pigmentation Okay, there is hella fallout with this, hella. But I'm gonna just <sighs> kind of try and sweep it away. From the chocolate mint color, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, this nice chocolatey brown one, a lighter, sh lighter brown shade, and just go under that mint shade. Okay, this one's a really nice color. Oh my God, I love this shade. It's gonna go right underneath. You know you're getting really into eyeshadow when your posture is bad because you're like... <laughs> I'm just going to blend that brown into that blue a little bit. And underneath that, I'm going to go into the chocolate mint again and go take this darkest brown shade. I'm just going to put that little bit under the other chocolate shade. Again, just stamping it on. But I'm only taking it on the outer part of the eye and kind of making it a cat eye shape. It's a really nice pigmented dark shade. Okay, so we got like a little wing situation right there on both eyes. So I'm going in to the Mint to Be palette. I'm gonna go in with this darker mint shade right here and pop it in the crease. Oh yes, that is stunning. 
Right, I think I might use my finger though instead because I think the payoff will be better and more precise. I knew it would be. God, this is so pretty. I actually cannot. Yeah. Okay, so that is stunning. And then next, I'm probably just gonna go in with my finger straight away, but I'm gonna take this shade right here. And it looks like it's like multi-chrome kind of mint silver shade. And it just looks stunning. So that's gonna go in the inner portion of the eye. Okay, yes. To be honest, they, they both kind of look the same when they're on the eye. <laughs> Are you seeing that? <laughs> wow, I am blown away. This is this is stunning. This eye look is stunning so far. I'm shook. So using the last shade from here, I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna take it underneath the eye. So it actually looks stunning with this eye look. It's such a stunning shade as well. It's like a khaki sea green kind of color. It's so nice. It ties this entire look together. Oh my God, I'm loving this. Right, so Avi, we have two more shades to use. This minty one and then this silvery one. The silvery one is going in the inner corner. Right, this for a second because I just need to get it on my eyes. <laughs> okay, not, not a lot of payoff straight away, but I know I know we'll build it up. So this silver shade is like a straight up silver. I thought it was gonna come off more champagne, but it, it comes off more silver than anything. You know what guys, I apologize if my energy is not up to scratch in this video because it's my time of the month and I just like, honestly, I'm just, I'm dead. I feel dead. I feel very feline right now and I'm in living this. Living. Right, and then last but not least, I'm taking this light mint shimmer shade right here. I'm just gonna pop it under my brows. Oh, that is so crazy. That is actually crazy. I don't know if you can see that, but like, it's like such a minty color. Oh, I just think this is so, such a fun look. It's kind of giving me like feline slash alien vibes. And I'm feeling it. I'm like so into it. Oh, why am I living for that green under the brow? Like it's just, it's just everything. All right guys, like my eye look is done and I absolutely freaking recommend these so much. They are amazing. Like not patchy, blend. They're so easy to work with. I just cannot like just let the eyeshadow speak for itself. It's just, yes, 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 yes. We're, so another new e.l.f. product is the Lash It Loud Mascara. This is what the brush looks like. I've actually never seen it, so I'm excited. Ooh, that actually looks really promising. I'm excited to use this. This looks really good. Right, so I'm just gonna pop this on right now. Very spiky, very like, it's a hard brush. Mm. Now we're getting length. Where's the volume? Okay, there we are. I feel like we're getting volume. Are they getting a bit more clumpy? I can't, I can't tell. Okay, so far I'm liking it. Okay, initially what I'm feeling about this mascara is it's great for length and it's giving me like spidery lashes. So if you're into that kind of thing, then you're gonna love this. But I don't know if it's my cup of tea. Like I love like wispy looking lashes and I don't know. It just, they don't look as full as I love my lashes to look. Okay, so if I'm being fully honest about this mascara, I like it. I think it would be great for people with short lashes or that love this kind of uh, spiry kind of lengthened lash but for someone who likes a, like a voluminous lash quite wispy you know just very like fanned out this is not it's not for you but i do think it's nice i don't think it's a horrible mascara by no means it's it's actually very nice but it's just not my 
personal cup of tea okay last but not least lip glosses i've got two of the lip glosses from the mint collection and you are gonna die when you see how pretty these are okay so we've got two of the mint lip glosses right here so this one is in the shade mint chocolate it's like a really nice chocolate shade like a nice brownie nude which i think would go with everyday looks and then oh my god this one this one is just everything this one is called mint sprinkle and i kid you not when i say this is literally like one of the most beautiful glosses i think i might have ever seen and i never really ever thought about putting like a greeny pinky bluey lip gloss on but i am living for this so i'm gonna do what i did in my last video i think i'll do top lip the brown one and then this one underneath on the bottom lip so you can kind of just see what they look like separately so i'm going to start off with the brown one because the, like the theme of the mint collection is being like chocolate and mint i'm curious to see what these smell like let me chocolate or mint oh my god it smells like chocolate mint oh my god it smells so good i love this i, I love this collection love All right so i'm gonna gloss my top lip Oh my god, that is just stunning. Just stunning. Like, I, it just honestly it doesn't even feel like anything on the lips. Like, weight wise, it's a really lightweight gloss. And then I can feel a little bit of tingling, like coolness. And the color is just to die for. It's like the most gorgeous nude. Ooh, so this is what the gloss looks like. It just looks clear with a little bit of glitter in there. So I'm really excited to put this one on. Let's do that. My. Goodness, can you like see all the green glitters? I'm dying. This is like the best like alien look of all time. When I say I'm living, I am living. This is everything. Oh my god. So you can very clearly see the difference of the lip glosses. Like the top one is a little bit more opaque, it's more nudie brown very nice everyday color and then this bottom one is a very shimmery and like greeny kind of gloss which i think looks actually just like it looks really different but just looks so nice even with like a like a deeper lip liner it just looks really nice no i'm just i'm just living for all this makeup it looks so good these lip glosses they're amazing like seriously they were like four or five pounds i can't remember i'll put it on the screen very cheap and absolutely beautiful so i think the last thing i'm gonna do is just like rub my lips together and just kind of mix the shades okay so i think that's become more of like a nude with green reflex in it and to be honest i'm still i'm still living i'm still living <laughs> so that is my full face of new elf makeup and you know what I'm like i started this video biased and i knew it was gonna be good but this phase i am just yes well let's just talk through the products very quickly i feel like the concealer is so full coverage and it's actually not drying at all it looks very very nice and seamless on the skin the cc cream oh my god it is fab like it's not heavy I feel like it is more on the dewy side so if you have oily skin like i do then you're definitely gonna have to powder it down it's left me with the most flawless look i've not really had this kind of flawless look with the foundation recently so this is just i'm living the blusher the putty blusher is gorgeous super super nice especially if you love cream products you're gonna die for that the little bite-sized blush and highlight like just just look at this highlight forget about the blush for a second the highlight <laughs> it's like wow the eyeshadow palettes insane lip glosses i actually really like them and i love the kind of like cooling minty chocolate taste that it's got it's like plumping my lips it's just yes the only thing i kind of didn't get along with so much was the mascara but it's still nice i mean the lashes are still there but it's just not I, it's just not the best thing ever i think that's all of it to be honest so i think this is gonna be a great makeup day i'm actually not going anywhere it's currently 8 p.m at night and i'm gonna bake some cookies so this face is going into the kitchen <laughs> i hope that you really like this makeup and if you're thinking about getting anything from the mint collection don't even hesitate just grab it 
go just grab it because it's so good but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe subscribe to my channel almost five thousand. and yeah i'll see you in my next one